everybody. It's your boy, The Big Rob Theory. Today I'm going to be presenting for you my review of The Joker. This movie is so well put together. Joaquin Phoenix's performance of Arthur Fleck, aka The Joker, is astounding. My initial thoughts uh, going into this movie, I already assumed it was going to be great. One, because of the character, uh, the Joker, and two, because of Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix is an amazing actor. I heard that he was up for an Oscar after this movie, like a review before I saw the movie. And after seeing this movie, wow. So again, main character, Joaquin Phoenix, AKA Arthur Fleck. His mother, Penny Fleck, is played by the actress Frances Conroy. Throughout the movie, you'll just get attached to all these characters, even though it's a two hour movie, you get so attached to these people within the first couple acts, to be honest, at least for me, because of the stellar emotion that they put into these uh, roles that they play. Zazie Beetz plays Sophie Dumont. Beautiful, beautiful, be be just, just, just beautiful woman. Two, great actress as well. The whole idea behind her in the movie and what goes on in the movie it just blows your mind, you know? You, you don't think that this movie goes in the direction that it goes. If you do know about Joker's backstory, then you're gonna love this movie. If you don't know about Joker's backstory and you go see this movie, you're probably still gonna love this movie. The way how they incorporated how this individual became Joker in this movie is beautiful. Cinematically, it is just on point, to say the least. From the camera angles, to the zoom-ins, to the eerily shot scenes at times, it creates this weird but comedic overtone in this movie. Robert De Niro, he plays a talk show host called Murray Franklin. First of all, Robert De Niro kills his role. Uh, he's a great actor, I love him to death. and He just owns any role that he does. This role specifically, he took it on full-fledged, and made you believe that he was this top-notch comedic uh, uh, talk show host. Throughout the movie, this character, Murray Franklin, adds just great elements to the movie. The interactions that come between Murray Franklin and various other characters later on in the movie will literally blow your mind. If you're a DC fan, you will definitely notice some nods at things that happened in the comics and just like where the, the current history is now and it's just beautiful how they incorporate that into this movie. The cinematography of this movie is, again, beautiful. I said it before with uh, the camera angles and the close-ups, but not only those things, the certain scenes that were shot, especially with Joaquin Phoenix, it was just so amazing to see him doing this role the way he did. There's been many renditions of Joker, but this one is just so well put together and comes at you from a different angle that again I didn't even notice that it was two hours long because of how much I was invested into Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. Another prominent character in this movie is Brett Cullen. He plays Thomas Wayne. Again, the way how they incorporate all of these characters into this movie and the interactions that they have with each other and how they're connected, mind-blowing. Astounding. Beautiful cinema. Great, great casting. Couldn't have cast any better people for this movie. I'm not gonna give you too much in regards to this movie because I definitely don't wanna ruin anything, even a little bit, for you before you see this movie. It is definitely worth paying the money to go see, even multiple times. I'm gonna go see it again later this week. So a brief explanation about the plot. Arthur Fleck is an aspiring comedian in Gotham City who has various mental issues. He lives with his mother so that he can help take care of her. It's a good son, you know, that's what a good son would do. Throughout the movie, events transpire with Arthur that causes him to go on this downward spiral that you will see throughout the movie and then dons himself as the Joker. So there you have that. Overall, I absolutely love this movie. This is a standalone movie. So this is set apart from the current DCEU and their storyline. Still part of DC's franchise, but just a different storyline. I didn't really see where there could be a sequel. Would I like one? Absolutely. I would love to see him form the connection with Harley Quinn. And you see them in like their early, early, early days, you know, before she was Harley Quinn, how you saw 
Joker before he was Joker. That would be cool. But again, this movie does not need a sequel, doesn't need anything added to it. This is beautiful. As with all movies, there are some things that are, you know, not all the way there. Unfortunately, I didn't find that many flaws with this movie. It was kind of slow at times. The reason for that is uh, they needed to build up and explain Arthur Fleck's backstory and explain his thought processes and explain what he's going through. So that's the, that's the main thing, if not the only thing, is that it was just a little bit slow at times. I kind of wish Joaquin Phoenix had a little bit more vocal parts, but again, I get why he didn't. He's an aspiring comedian who has various mental issues, and he has a social disorder. Like, I, I get it. Those are the only two things that I would say are negatives about this movie. Even then, they're not that bad. So for those of you who sat through this and watched it, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I loved this movie, as I've said many times throughout this review. I love this movie. Joaquin Phoenix definitely deserves an Oscar. I also like how they painted Thomas Wayne as kind of a dick in this movie. We've seen Thomas Wayne from the viewpoint of Bruce, who of course is gonna say that his father is the man. He's gonna portray his father as a good man and some aspiring and active members in Gotham City's elite will say that oh, Thomas Wayne was a great man because of the amount of money that he gave them or the amount of money that he had. We get to see Thomas Wayne and all these other people through the eyes of people in the slums like Arthur Fleck. So it's a great viewpoint that they put in this movie. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a great time talking about this movie. I could talk about this movie a lot more, but then I would have to make this a spoiler review. No, 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 no. Yeah. Later this week, I will finally be doing Arrowverse reviews. And next comes The Flash and Arrow. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited for one show in particular. Thanks, guys. In a way.